It's bad news from the beginning. Humanity rebelled against God. By their own sin, humanity fell on earth and were condemned to eternal darkness in death. Even the Hebrews, God's chosen people, couldn't follow and obey God for more than a minute before they returned to sin and their brokenness. They killed the prophets of God. They wandered the desert. They lost their nation and become slaves to others. But God had a plan to save not just the Hebrews, but people from every nation. Hundreds of years of prophecy, and one night in Bethlehem, it all came true. Jesus, the Son of God himself, God in human form was born. He spoke like no one before him, healed the sick, challenged the corrupt religious leaders, and loved like we had never seen. People were changed, utterly shook by the truth and life of Jesus. But as the prophets had said centuries earlier, he didn't come merely to teach. He came as a sacrifice. It was called atonement. Jesus, God's son, came as a perfect man to take the punishment for all imperfect men. His hands and feet were nailed to a cross. And on a Friday afternoon, the unthinkable, his lifeless body was laid in a tomb and sealed with an enormous stone. And for three days, nothing happened. On Sunday morning, the stone sealing the tomb was rolled away and the tomb was found empty. There walking through the garden was Jesus, risen from the dead and all those scarred, full of life. He appeared to those who believed in his return and even to those who did not. From town to town, Jesus proclaimed the death itself had been defeated. The life he offered was a new kind, a forever kind, the kind that changed murderers into missionaries. After 40 days and appearing to 500 people, he established the church and ascended into heaven, promising to one day return. We call it the gospel, meaning good news, and it changes everything.